The January transfer window is just over a week away from opening, and the whole of December there has been links and rumours with regards to Liverpool as the club look to make some additions this winter. In today's video, we have an update for you with regards to Enzo Fernandez, who has been heavily linked to the club over the last 24 hours. Not only that, but we have some good news regarding two Liverpool players. We will also discuss the latest news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. With the Reds back in action on Thursday, we are able to get more of an inside word on how the squad is shaping up. We already know that Diego Jota and Luis Diaz are not back until January, and Pep Blinders did tell reporters on Wednesday that Diego is still inside the time frame still. As for Curtis Jones, who did not feature in the Dubai friendlies and was missing for the last two games before the break, he is one week away from team training, Linders confirmed. Katie Gordon, meanwhile, made an important step in Dubai as he started running for the first time and the assistant manager was eager to say that it was great to see him on the pitch and just to tell him as well that we did not forget him. The 18-year-old has been sidelined since February due to various issues including a pelvic injury and with a number of young players rising to the fore including Ben Doak, he'll be desperate to get back on the pitch. It will be some time before he's considered for the squad but he's making important steps forward. Alison Becker, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Fabinho and Jordan Henderson are back from the World Cup, but involvement will only likely come off the bench at City if at all. As we mentioned in the intro, the January transfer window is fast approaching, and there has been a lot of names being linked to the football club over the month of December. Enzo Fernandez has emerged as a popular name among Liverpool supporters after the World Cup and claims in Portugal are that Anfield is his priority. Though he did not begin the tournament as a first-choice starter for Argentina, Benfica midfielder Fernandez became one of their most important players. So much so that after lifting the trophy in Qatar on Sunday, the 21-year-old was named the young player of the tournament, having led for touches, passes and tackles in the victory over France. As the World Cup took place, links between Fernandez and Liverpool increased, with claims even that an agreement was already in place with the player himself. No such deal has been struck with Benfica, of course, with a release clause of worth over 120 million euros negotiated into the contract signed when he joined from River Plate back in 2021. However, speculation from Portugal continues to suggest that Liverpool is Fernandes' preferred destination, with Oyogo now describing it as a priority. This is despite interest from other clubs in England, Spain, Italy and France, where it is even claimed that an agreement has been reached with his agent. Previous reports from Record and Abola have backed up claims of interest, with the former having also asserted that Liverpool were leading the race at the end of November. However, it is maintained that Benfica would not consider the sale of the number 13 mid-season, though there is no stopping hands from being shaken on a summer transfer at this point. Furthermore, River Plate news source River Owl and Sante have claimed that Liverpool are preparing to offer £80 million for the midfielder, with £20 million of that going to the Argentine club. Whilst these reports may excite us fans, I do have news from you, from probably the most reputable Portuguese source, that being Pedro Sobreveda, and he claimed in a tweet that all the reports are completely false and there is no agreement with Liverpool or any other club for Enzo Fernandes. There are no negotiations with any club. Benfica will only sell Enzo in January due to the release clause, that being 120 million euros. So sorry Reds fans to be the bearer of bad news, but the club are not in talks to sign the player at the time of recording, despite reports stating they are. However, things can change as the weeks and months commence. Pep Guardiola has confirmed that six more players have returned to the Man City squad from the World Cup ahead of Thursday's clash with Liverpool. Man City had a total of 16 players at this year's tournament in Qatar, with only Barcelona with 17 seeing more called up. Meanwhile, Liverpool only saw seven of their players head to the World Cup, which allowed Jurgen Klopp to work with the majority of his squad for a mid-season training camp. That could set up Thursday's Carabao Cup fourth round tie as a mismatch, though it is doubtful regardless of the personnel. 
In his pre-match press conference on Wednesday, Pep Guardiola confirmed that six more players have reported back for training that morning, but it seems unlikely that they'll feature midweek. He said step by step the people are coming back, today came back six more players for the first time. I'm happy they're all back, in general they played well, all of them, and they lived, I'm pretty sure, an incredible experience, the World Cup is a unique experience. Let them try to come back as soon as possible to work good for the team for themselves. Prior to Wednesday, there were doubts over nine players who made it to the last 16 of the competition, with Edison, Laporte, Ruben Diaz, Cancelo, Bernardo Silva, Kyle Walker, John Stones, Calvin Phillips, Phil Foden and Jack Grealish yet to train. However, as he continued, Guardiola suggested that Laporte had joined Kevin De Bruyne, Ilkay Gundogan, Rodri, Nathan Ake and Akinji in being available. The Spaniard also suggested that those who had been involved at the World Cup would be in a better condition to play than those who missed out, such as Erling Haaland. He continued, I have a feeling that the players who were at the World Cup are in a better condition than the players who were here. Sergio, Erling, Riyad, Cole, they miss a little bit of rhythm compared to Akinji, Rodri, Laporte and Nathan Ake. They came back, we saw them perfectly, that's normal, they competed, they trained every day and we had holidays. That's why the most important thing is to keep the rhythm. For the players who are not at the World Cup, they need to gain rhythm. We don't have a month off or weeks to prepare them, so we have to do it with the time we have. One player who is guaranteed to miss the clash on Thursday is Julian Alvarez, who has been granted an extended break following Argentina's triumph in the final. Liverpool midfielder Leighton Clarkson scored a spectacular fifth goal of his loan spell at Aberdeen on Tuesday, only for Rangers to claw back for victory. Clarkson had found a temporary home at Aberdeen following a difficult campaign last time out that included a stint at Blackburn being cut short. The 21-year-old has settled into a regular role with the Scottish club, operating in a variety of positions including as a number 8 and a more attacking midfielder. On Tuesday night, he made his 16th appearance and his 13th start for Jim Goodwin's side in his second visit of the Glasgow opposition in four days. After a 1-0 defeat to Celtic on Saturday, Aberdeen were hoping for more luck against Rangers, who were now managed by former Liverpool youth coach Michael Beale. It took Rangers just 12 minutes to break the deadlock though, as Fashion Sakala fired home at the second time of asking in the penalty area. The visitors had more chances to punish the sloppy Aberdeen defence, but the tie was level on the brink of half-time as Duke produced a fine free kick. Eight minutes after the restart, it was an opportunity for Clarkson to step up, and he did so remarkably as he touched down James Sands' weak clearance and hammered in a half volley that gave Alan McGregor no chance. Clarkson's stunner looked to be sending Aberdeen on their way to a valuable win, only for Scott Arfield to net a brace in the fifth and seventh minutes of stoppage time to turn the game on its head. The youngster has made a habit of it during his time north of the border, with similar long-range efforts against St Mirren, St Johnston, and in a mid-season friendly against Atalanta United. He also struck against Hibernian in the league and Annan Athletic in the League Cup, with 5 goals and 2 assists in 16 games in all competitions. That is an average of a goal or an assist every 157 minutes, which is impressive for a player not typically developed in a forward position. Journalist Rudri Britton, writing for Aberdeen Live, awarded Clarkson an 8 out of 10, saying, He only scores stunners, and Tuesday night was no different. Clarkson was superb in the midfield and worked to good effect when tracking back. Liverpool fans, what do you make of the Enzo Fernandez links, and do you think the club will trigger his 120 million euro release clause this January? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.